Hi guys, it's me, Rusty78609 with the music on. Got to turn it off. Got that did. Anyway, it is Sunday the 26th of February, I think. It's 7.27 a.m. Central Standard Time. I know that, and it's 40 degrees outside. The high today is supposed to be 70 here, which is nice. And tomorrow, 82 degrees Fahrenheit, and on and on it goes. And then we'll get into the hot temperatures in the summer, and I'll go up northern New Mexico, and that'll be the end of that poo-poo. Speaking of poo-poo, uh, I'm going to touch on composting toilets while you're having your breakfast. <laughs> that ought to be a good one, huh? How about that? Anyway, it says, what are composting toilets and how do they work? Composting toilets use nature's decomposition process to reduce waste by 90% and convert it into nutrient-rich compost. They do not require water hookups uh, either, which is great for our already stressed water supply. In short, composting toilets are a way to allow waste to decompose safely without odors. And you know what? They work. You know why? Because I stayed in a place one time in the Davis Mountains. It's called Davis Mountains Resort, right outside of uh, Fort Davis, Texas, and way far west Texas near Big Bend, in that close to Alpine, Texas. And up in those hills there, beautiful. Let me tell you, Davis Mountains Resort is really a neat area. <clears throat> it's really remote. But it's way up in the Davis Mountains elevation, I don't know, around 6,000 plus feet and up. Uh, it's really nice and uh, beautiful views. A lot of people go there that are stargazers and love to watch night sky. And uh, But anyway, the place I stayed in for a few days had a composting toilet. And guess what? It didn't have any odor at all. I was fascinated by it. This has been 10, 15 years ago. But anyway, I was watching a uh, video by uh, Bob Wells. He, he's got a YouTube channel called Cheap RV Living. Check it out. It's a good channel. He does a good job. And he was interviewing a guy that had an RV that had, guess what, a composting toilet. And I thought, how genius. Because what that does is you don't have to go to the dump station. Ha! Huh. You got me? I mean, you talk about self-contained. With that and solar, you're you're good to go. Okay, for those that that's for for those people that don't want to poo poo in a bucket like I do. When you know when I go camping in my Toyota Prius, you know I just have a little three gallon bucket with a trash can liner, and that's my poo poo bag. And far as T ten for me, Mother Nature's got a lot of restrooms out there. Okay, lots of billions of them. Okay, for pee peeing. Now as far as me, have I ever hung off a tree limb and did number two? Yeah. Was it fun? No. And you got you can dig a little hole in the ground and do it too. But that, you know, at my age, I could get down there, but they'd find my body in that position about ten years from now, <laughs> turned to stone probably. But anyway, for you guys that are looking to get off the the grid or whatever you call it, or you know, you want you a tiny home, or you want to get out there and boondock and all that kind of stuff, check out these composting toilets. You know, I'm telling you. They range in, you know, you can get some cheapies, you know, for, you know, three, four hundred dollars in that range. That's that's still four hundred dollars, isn't it? But, yeah, they go all the way up. You know, they go up to, you know, the one, I think the one he had was called a, a, a Sunmar composting toilet. And those, I'm just looking at it right here, they're about anywhere from eight hundred to a thousand dollars. But, you know, something to think about. You don't need water. And you don't need to go to the dump station. And there's no odor. There's really not. I mean, the, you got to vent it. Uh, you got they got a little hose vent, and some of them actually have a little fan uh, that pulls the air out into the out outside. And uh, but you know, if you did, even if you had a little 12 volt fan, it's not going to run all the time. It'll just run every now and then. And then some of them have a a little crank. The one I had where I was out in West Texas had a little uh, crank, and you you turned it every. I think it was once a day you just turned it at one crank and and that uh, let the uh, it, co the compost aerate whatever they called it <clears throat> but anyway they work they really do and there is no odor so if you're looking for a, like a tiny home or self-contained way to you know to sanit sanitarily poop and the reason I caught my eye was because where I am now even though I have a septic hookup 
it's not the greatest setup in the world, and I know it, because when I bought this property 12, 13 months out of several years ago, there was a semi-septic system here, okay? There's, there's a pipe, and it runs out kind of under the ground. It's got some drain field stuff, but that's about it. It's pretty simple. The guy made it himself, I can tell you that. But, and that was okay, and it works fine for me. I mean, because it's just one person, and I'm not here all the time, so it works okay for me. But I thought, well, you know, if the county ever came out and checked it, they'd probably tell me I'd have to have a full-blown full, full blown septic. And if they did, I'd go to a Sunmar composting toilet for about 800, 800 to $1,000 because a, a full-blown septic system approved by the county in my area will cost you anywhere from six to 10,000 bucks depending on what kind of mood they're in. <clears throat> but anyway, so check out composting toilets, you guys. And if you're looking at tiny homes, you know, you're looking at those like storage building things and you're gonna figure out a toilet, a composting toilet, ideal, perfect. No septic, no, you don't even have to have water to it or anything. You know, if you've got uh, power, uh, solar or whatever, you can run that little fan and you're good to poop. <laughs> I like that. So anyway, got a lot of comments, lots and lots and lots, and I got to get after them. And uh, <clears throat> there was one of them, I'm trying to think of what it was. Uh, da, 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 da. I, oh, I, oh, there was a guy. Uh, well, I, I'll get to that comment. Well, I'll give it to you now. What it was, uh, many back in the 70s, there was an old professor from MIT named J Noam Chomsky. N-O-A-M, first name Noam, second name, his last name is C-H-O-M-S-K-Y. He's a linguistics professor at MIT, been there for 50 years. Brilliant individual, you know, one of the leading intellectuals of the world, but also, I'd have to say, a tree hugger and an ultra liberal, okay? <clears throat> and, you know, that's not, I'm not saying that, and that's not bad, you know, that's what makes the world balance. And anyway, he... Uh, <clears throat> Through the years, you know, I've listened to some of his lectures through the years, and at one time he, he kind of appealed to me, uh, uh, but lately, and I, I guess it was just this last election, it really showed how, in my opinion, some of his views are a little off base. You know, one of them was on climate change. You know, the, you know climate change happens all the time. Now, man-made climate change, and whether we're causing it or not, is a totally new another issue you know he thinks that men that mankind through uh, uh, pollution and you know other things chemicals and stuff or, that we are having or co2 emissions primarily are having a, a, a significant impact on on the climate change but uh, there's a also a meteorologist at the same university uh, that says no we're not so that tells you something right so, but it, and, and you can you know you can listen to your own listen to different scientists on that speak on that topic and make up your own mind my in my mind I, I say yes there is climate change but no mankind is not contributing a hell of a lot to it okay we, we just aren't we we may think we're that important but we're not but having said that that's about it for this morning and uh, what else <clears throat> But anyway, a good suggestion for you guys, if you're going to buy uh, a used RV or do a van build out, or you're going to get you a tiny home or even go live on a, a, a sailboat, uh, you know, uh, composting toilets are the way to go. I mean, there's no doubt because what you end up with is just a dry box of stuff that you can either use in your garden and people do believe it or not i know a lot of people say well you know human waste in the garden if you're not taking any medications and so forth and none of the pharmaceutical chemicals are in your poo poo uh, it's not going to affect your garden at all now if you're taking 15 medications and you're putting that on your garden i don't know that that's the greatest idea in the world okay but having said all that guys check out composting toilets if you're interested in boondocking or you're doing a van build out or you're fixing to buy you a used RV and replace the toilet, replace it with a with a composting toilet. What a great idea. Why didn't why didn't everybody think of that? But if I have to uh, make any changes here, I'll just go to a composting toilet and problem solved. How about that? And I'm glad I saw that video because it 
brought back an old memory when I was out in Fort Davis. If you ever get out in West Texas, go through. It's it's out of the way. It's I mean, when I say out of the way, I mean out of the way. Uh, you know, go to Fort Davis or Davis Mountains Resort. They got property for sale there. They do. It's not real expensive. Some of, it all depends out there, just like everywhere else. Location, location, location. If you're up in the way up in the mountains, the roads are difficult. You get some place you have to have four wheel drive vehicle. Most places you can get to in just your car. And uh, you know, uh, but there are some beautiful views there. But anyway, having said that, guys, this video is full of. Anyway, <laughs> thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye bye, buy USA made when you can. Take deep breaths. In through your nose, not through your mouth. Why? It relieves stress. Drink plenty of water, take walks, stretch, keep your health. And one of these days when you grow up, you'll be able to get you a composting toilet and put it in, put it in your front yard and use it in front of everybody. <laughs> anyway, enjoy. Bye-bye.